Hey guys, it's Judy and I have another process video for you. It's called Sparkler Fun and I use the Scraptastic December 2013 Baby It's Cold Outside mainly at. So those are the papers I'm looking at through the kit and that's the photo I am using which is New Year's Eve when we took Ian out to our back deck and we got to play with some sparklers. <laughs> So, this is the first year he got to hold it. So, I am matting that sheet. I had tried different um, um, papers, and you might have seen I looked at the darker teal, but then I chose the aqua just because I wanted to brighten it, it up a little bit. And that, um, that paper that I used to mat the photo on is... Um, Playful Plaid from Cartabella from the Rough and Tumble collection and that beautiful um, um, tree looking one is called Keeping Cozy by Echo Park and that um, background paper, the wood grain is Timber Grove from Fancy Pants Retreat and for layouts like these I like to save the middle. I learned this technique from um, Janice, she's cricketologist, I think is like 13, 280 or something like that. So um, what I do is I just go in two inches and that's what I love about this trimmer. I can measure at two inches and then you see on the side the horizontal ones. I can just go in at two and then go down all the way um, two from the bottom and then just keep going around and cut out that square from the middle so I can use that piece of paper um, and save my scraps <laughs> because it's such a pretty paper and I chose to use that just because of the deck and the siding of the house it has that wood look and then the tree so it looks like it's outdoors sort of and right now I'm looking through all my stencils because I want to do a little stenciling on that aqua cart stack stock that came with the kit um, and so I'm just trying to think what color I want to do and how I'm going to do it. So I just adhere some washi to that side because I know my photo is going to cover that side. So even when I spray it with the washi, um, you know, the stencil, it'll look fine. So I believe that is the Heidi Swap tinsel color. So it's like a gray color. So that's how it looks. Not, you know, it. it, it, it didn't come out too drastic, which is nice because I don't want it to be too bold. Um, it's just a little, you know, design to have. And a little, you know, dull up the brightness of that aqua blue too, a little bit. So it doesn't look so stark against each other, but it still adds brightness to the layout. Um, that's what I was thinking. So I think I'm like, I can't wait to let it dry, so I use my um, heat tool just to dry it. And so I'm looking, I love that love, that heart love. Um, so I think I am going to, I found a scrap piece of white paper and I'm just going to spray it with the navy in um, Heidi Swap Color Shine. And I love how it came, well, I love the color, kind of splotchy. I think when I picked it up, it kind of shifted a little, so it's a little um, fuzzy around the edges. But I love how it yeah, has that shimmer to it. I just love Heidi Swap Color Shine because of all the added shimmer. It doesn't give you um, like a matte look or a solid look. It always adds a shimmer. That's why it's called Shine, Color Shine. It has some shimmer to it. So I fussy cut around that, and I, I don't like... You know, that circle, I mean, the round part, uh, part on the left side of the L, it's not totally round because I think I ran out of the paper. Um, but I use it anyway because I love it. Um, and I just left the white border around it to give it a little more pop. And I'm adhering stuff down now. And I'm being careful because I don't think, I think I dried that, um, the love heart with my heat tool too because I couldn't wait for it to dry so but I'm extra careful I don't smudge it or get it all over my fingers so that sticker is from the kit also and it's from the Timber Grove collection from Fancy Pants 
So, so it says something about sparkle, which is appropriate for the sparkle. Um, things that sparkle, I think it says, and it has the arrow. And so I'm trying to think where to put my title. And um, I think spark. I'm thinking sparkler fun would be the title, but I didn't want to put it. I needed a mat for the letters because it would look funny across uh, that um, the birch trees and the is it birch trees or fir trees? Um, that paper and the aqua paper. I don't want it to go like that. So I wanted a mat. So I used my leftover um, paper from the rough and tumble. Um, I think the playful pad on the other side where it was just the navy. And then I cut it to try to see what fits. And those thickers are again thickers I used in my last layout from Dear Lizzie Treasure. I love those. Those have like sparkle on them so it looks so nice for winter like kind of snow and ice kind of look. So I'm looking and that space over there under the spar or next to the fun is so blank and dark so I decided to cut that out. And Like I said before I am not a good scissor cutter person so I'm using my scissor to cut it and of course it comes out crooked so ah uh, you see right on you know underneath the sparkle or it's crooked but I don't realize until now when I look at it so I ended up one tip is using a t-square I love using my t-square so I just butted up against the edge and I drew a line so I have a guide to actually cut and my son just got into the shot so anyway I think I he was using my typewriter so he wanted to show what he typed he typed his name and so the A kept falling off so I put um, Tumbo Mono adhesive onto the A to get it to stick and and those oh those little cutouts are from the Scriptastic kit as well so yeah that's Aiden and then he put some numbers so because that die cut had some red in it, I also used that same washi from the kit, the heart, love it. I don't know where it's from, you'll see the little hands from Aiden. But just to add that red again um, across the page, because there is a little, I think it's red in his shirt. It might be orange, but you can't really tell, it's just that color. It might be red. So it kind of goes in that diagonal again. So, and again, um, because he's facing towards the left, um, I didn't want to put the photo in the center of the page. That's why you notice the center is off to the right a little. That gives it a little more room, like you're looking towards the center, where the sparkler is, and then also where the title is. So that's my placement. And now I found those um, border strips, and they are really old. I got them in like a grab bag a while ago. So they are from Teresa Collins. Um, from a now and then collection and there's like glitter everywhere all the glitter was falling off so it's like all over which is fine <laughs> it's just it was all over me and all over Aiden later but anyway I'm looking for um, a stamp a roller date stamp and I end up picking I believe a recollections roller date stamp and it's the one that says happy birthday on it but I used I forgot what it says um, celebrate or have fun or something like that. What's it say? And I'm using the Memento Lux. Um, and it's very juicy, that one, that ink pad. So it was blotching up. It says a special day, I think. Yeah, it says a special day. It was blotching up where the letters are. So I kept trying to stamp it out. Um, and that's like a darker blue. I think nautical blue, maybe. I was looking all over for that flare and it was under under some of my die cuts so there I put that because it really matched the the flare comes in the kit as well and that I thought that really matched um, the aqua paper those mittens I thought it was cute it had the heart and it also had like mittens because it was kind of brisk that day and that tag is also one of the cutouts from the scraptastic kit I don't know if I use it which one do I use maybe I use a label um, I don't remember. 
We'll see. <laughs> oh, I used that one, which was part of the older Scraptastic kit. I think all about a boy. And I didn't want that yellow to show, so I'm trying to find a space for it. So I would hide it. Or maybe I don't use that. Did I use it? And I'm trying to look for... Oh, oh I didn't use that one. I used it in another layout. But I'm trying to look for a navy pen. That one, the American Crafts one, was like 0.5, so it's way too thick. And I'm going to journal right where I did the mist stencil. So I'm going to like covering up that whole mist. But I ended up just using a black um, Bic Market. I think Ultra Fine. Oh, the stencils I used, FYI, was the circle one. The circle graft is the Mr. Huey's mask. And then the heart one is actually the Crafter's Workshop um, by Balzar, Balzar Designs. And it's called the Mix and Match Heart Stencils. So I'm just journaling about um, how it was Christmas Eve and we, I mean not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. And he was so good using the sparkles. So hope you enjoy this layout. Um, let me know what you think. Thanks for subbing and watching and liking. Bye guys.